I'm going to be shooting my Gamo Swarm Whisper 22 caliber with the Predator GTO 11.75 grain pellet at 30 yards. With that said, this is a gas ram brake barrel air gun. And I'm going to be shooting with my bags at 30 yards, not using a particular hold like you hear that you have to use and see what the results are and also compare them to my new rest, which is the Caldwell Lead Sled 3, and see if there's a huge difference downrange taking five shots each at 30 yards. Let me get set up here and get the camera on target and get shooting. First up is the Gamma Whisper 22 cal on the bags using the Predator GTO 11.75 grain 22 cal. 30 yards. That was five shots at 30 yards using the bags and not a particular hold. Now the rest is up next. Here I have the Caldwell Lead Sled 3 on the bench with the Gamma Whisper. Same ammo, same point of aim downrange. Let's see what happens. Five shots. So here is that target at 30 yards and you can see here's the group from the bags not using a particular hold and here's the group with the rest both of these groups five shots were just a hair under an inch center to center at 30 yards but as you see here these shots were all over the place there's four shots right here a nice tight cluster and i think that one was me the more I'm using this rest, the more I'm starting to notice things that I haven't really dealt with while using shooting bags. And with that said, the rest pushes the gun forward in my shoulder and the scope is farther forward. So I think I did that one right there because my reticle was not in a full clear picture. But this group right here, four of them, was just a hair over a quarter inch center to center. So here's a dime. And this group could be covered by a dime easily whereas the four best shots in this group cannot be so this was a very interesting test so i appreciate you watching as always thanks again hope to see you on the next one